Thank you for calling the Breast Screening Helpline. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Tonight, as the first calls were being made to the new dedicated helpline, it became clear that a screening programme designed to keep women safe had let some fall through the cracks. It's a major error caused by a computer glitch. I wish to inform the House of a serious failure that has come to light in the National Breast Screening Programme in England. And the Health Secretary was forced because to admit the mistake could have serious consequences. There may be between 135 and 270 women who had their lives shortened as a result. Tragically, there are likely to be some people in this group who would have been alive today if the failure had not happened. Many families will be deeply disturbed by these revelations, not least because there will be some people who receive a letter having had a recent diagnosis of breast cancer. We may, must also recognise that there may be some who receive a letter having had a recent terminal diagnosis. The error occurred between 2009 and January of this year and involves around 450,000 women in England. It affects those who were aged 68 to 71 during that time and who were not offered their final routine screening. A third of those have since died from a variety of causes, not necessarily cancer, but more than 300,000 of the women are still alive. The challenge now is to contact them, offer screening to them and treat any woman who's contracted the disease since they missed their final mammogram. Obviously, we're very sorry and I want to apologise on behalf of NHS Breast Screening Services. Um, we are writing to the women and we'll obviously do everything we can to support them. The government's announced an independent review to establish what went wrong. It's also said compensation will be available to those who suffered because of the failures as charities warn confidence in health screening could be knocked. I think the really important thing for any screening programme is that um, there is a really robust process in place and that there are some checks and balances and clearly there will be a lot to learn from exactly what went wrong in this particular instance. Two million women are screened every year and it's only a very small number of those who may be at risk. But today's apology underlines how serious it is that a screening programme designed to reach everyone has failed to do so.